Hey guys, it's Amanda Panda who saw the Campfire My Little Pony episode and loved it because I did. And today we are actually going to be customizing this Princess Twilight Sparkle Pony into a custom mist mane and it is going to be so awesome. I'm starting off by using a little bit of acetone to remove the cutie mark, those stars, and the eyelashes. Let's pop this head off. Off, just twist it firmly to the side and it should come right out now I need to remove all of the original mane because I want to give Miss Mane her gorgeous teal hair later on I use my exacto knife to very carefully cut around that neck plug pull it out and expose all of the hair roots now I'm using a pair of large scissors and I'm going to cut off the bulk of the hair and then use these teeny tiny itty bitty little nail scissors and cut this hair all the way down to the scalp. Now I'm going to reach inside that head with a pair of pliers and pull out all of those chunks of hair and glue. If you don't have pliers, you could always use some tweezers for this step. So she is completely bald. The head's all prepped. Let's prep the body. Super easy here. We're just going to cut this tail all the way off and then whatever's left, I'm actually just going to press directly into the pony body just using the end of my scissors there so let's get started with this transformation we're gonna be doing the head first now Miss Mane is really cool because she is an Asian inspired pony and the Asian ponies actually have a different shaped horn they kind of curve up and they're really long and really pretty so I actually cut off the bulk of Twilight's original horn and I'm gonna use a little bit of super grew to mold mist mane's horn so i'm gonna start off by making sure that all of this sugru is attached to the actual head so i'm going to push this sugru all the way down to the forehead just to make sure it doesn't fall off and then curve it upwards and make it just a little bit pointy if you personally don't like using sugru you could always use air dry clay for this step while the sugru is is still wet I'm just going to take one of my clay tools here and just gently press in a little indentation to create a groove that goes all the way up the horn so it looks a lot like mist mane then I am going to be using a little bit more of that sugru and covering just the tip of the ears and again using my fingers to smooth that out really well and all I want to do is just make her ears a little bit longer and pointier than the original Twilight ears and then a repeat on the other side. This looks so awesome. I'm going to let the Sugru set for four hours and then start working on the paint color. Using purple, pink, and white, I'm going to be creating a custom shade for Mist Mane. That's like an orchid with a really high pink tone to it. This is actually a color very similar to Screwball, but it's a little bit more pink than Screwball was. Let's mix this all up and see how our color came out. This is really, really pretty. It just looks really awesome in person. I hope the color is coming across on camera. Now, I did make a lot of this color, but I can actually reseal this tub, so my paint is not going to go to waste. I can always save it for a custom later on. On. That sugru has completely dried and the sugru is now hard. It is time to start painting. Mist Mane actually has a little bit of an ombre effect going on at the tip of her horn and her ears. So I'm just using this small makeup sponge and I put a little bit of white acrylic paint at the top and some of that 
custom orchid color that we just created and I am very gently sponging that on the tips and I'm going to repeat this about four times to get a nice solid color gradient there and then color the entire rest of the head with layers of the orchid and I'm going to go ahead and put down four layers of that acrylic paint. Once it has completely dried, we can start working on Mist Mane's eyes, which are gorgeous almond shape. I started off with white and now I'm taking a bold, pretty teal color for the general shape of her eye. And then I'm going to go in with a couple different variations of this color to give the eye a little more depth. I added some white to this shade. I've added a little bit of dark purple to that mist main color to create an eye shadow color for her. And I'm just going to actually put this on before I draw in her eyelashes. So let's get her eyeshadow in there and then draw in the eyelashes, which are really, really bold. It almost looks like she has a thick cat eye eyeliner. So I'm just going to carefully draw this in. In and give her some little eyelashes on the side draw in her pupil and then once that has completely dried use a little bit of white to pop in some light reflections I'm gonna give her one in the corner and one down towards the bottom now honestly her eyeshadow is a little funky shape so I'm gonna take just a tad bit of the original body color and just kind of cover up a little bit of that dark purple and shape that eyeshadow out a lot better. Now I'm gonna cover the entire head with three coats of this varnish to seal all of my work in. Once that top coat has completely dried, it is time for hair. Look at these gorgeous colors, sea nymph and dragonfly from dollyhair.com, which I'm going to be attaching to the pony's head using my rerouting tool from dollyhair.com. It is a pronged needle and I cut this hair to half of the original length, folded it over my finger and very gently picked that hair up and caught it right in between those two prongs. Decide where you want to put your hair plug in, press down firmly and just like that the hair plug will root itself inside of the pony's head. And then you're just going to repeat this process until the pony has a completely new mane. I started off with the brighter color, put a little bit at the top and a little bit at the bottom and then I'm going to fill in the middle with that darker color so we're gonna have really cool two-toned hair here and once this hair is completely in I'm going to seal it by just putting a whole bunch of hot glue inside of the head now let's work on the pony's body Twilight actually has wings but Mist Mane doesn't I'm just gonna use my scissors and my exacto knife to very carefully cut those wings off and then we can start painting I'm gonna be doing this paint job opposite of how I did the head I'm gonna paint the entire body purple first let that completely dry and then go in and add the gradient effect down at the bottom of her little hooves just to see which method is easier if you do gradient first or gradient second so let me load up this sponge with white and purple and sponge it directly onto Mist Mane's legs here. And I can already tell you that this is so much easier. I would definitely recommend painting first and then adding the gradient second. And now it's time to start working on her kimono, her gorgeous, gorgeous kimono. I lay down a little bit of a nail striping tape so that way the arms have a nice crisp line and I'm just going to remove the nail striping tape while the paint is still wet and that looks really awesome and then go in and fill in the rest of the base of her shirt just roughly putting in a v-neck and then taking that paint all the way down 
to her waist area, letting that completely dry and then drawing on her cutie mark. I took a brighter shade of teal and I'm just going to try my best to create her cutie mark, which is a little tree, and then outline it with some white acrylic paint. Now, at this step, I'm actually going to cover the pony with three coats of varnish before I move on to the rest of the kimono because we are going to be using Sugru for the rest of this pony and it is so much easier to scrape Sugru off a surface that has top coat. Taking a long piece of Sugru, I'm just going to wrap it around her neck for her collar using my fingers to flatten it and then I'm going to trim that Sugru down give her that crisp v-neck and attach the second piece of sugru to that first piece we laid down really do a good job of meshing those two pieces together and i'm actually going to lay that second piece over the first piece so you can see right there how it looks really awesome because they are layered on top of each other another long piece of sugru here and we're just going to wrap this around her waist for her belt. I have flattened that out, made it as thick as I can possibly make it, just going to take off the excess again. And then I'm going to take this wooden tool here and I'm actually going to press it right along the edge of her belt. And what this is doing is this is creating just the slightest indentation so that way it looks like there's a raised area right in the middle. And I hope you guys can see this on camera and I'm gonna repeat this on the other side. So now it actually looks like there is a raised area at the top and then on the side, two thin pieces a lot like mist manes and this is the easiest way to recreate that look now i have this really thin piece of sugru and i'm gonna lay it right across the middle section there and i have this long rectangle here for her little pouch that she has on the side and then add two small little dots while i have my sugru and it's still wet i'm actually going to be using this silicone mold here to make the bow for the front of her kimono let that completely dry and it can just pop out like this now i don't need the bottom portions of this little bow so I'm actually just going to cut them off and be left with the top part now let's get back to the actual pony and finish up our paint job using a brighter shade of teal let's paint in the front scarf neckline here and then go in with some beige for her actual belt so I'm gonna lay down the beige first and then take a darker shade of her shirt so I took that same color added a little bit of dark blue and that's the shade I'm gonna use for the sides of her belt right here and this is the same color I'm gonna use for the little thin area right in the middle of her belt and this just looks really awesome like the layering and the colors are just so gorgeous and I am going to be listing the exact paint colors that I am using down in the description box below so that way if you want to make this custom you can use the same colors that I did. This part is completely optional but I really wanted to make the front scarf area really pop so I'm taking that dark shade of teal green here and just outlining the edges of the scarf and her shirt. Now I've actually painted the little bow tie off camera and I'm just going to attach that to the pony using some Gorilla Glue. This is just the regular super glue kind and I'm going to attach it to the front of her shirt there. I'll let it completely set, completely dry for going over the entire pony with additional layers of clear coat to seal in all the paint job 
from her kimono. Now I have both shades of hair here that I have actually twist tied together and I'm going to be using white Gorilla Glue to attach this tail to the pony. Now I do highly suggest this specific Gorilla Glue because when this one dries it actually poofs up so it's going to secure that tail from the inside out. And then I'm going to use the end of a paintbrush to push that hair in. Let's take a look at our completed custom. Here is Mist Main, and she seriously is so pretty. Look at that curved horn. Look at her kimono. The colors are just gorgeous, fabulous. Her hair is awesome. I love everything about her. She came out so, so nice. If you use this tutorial to make your own mist mane, I would love to see some pictures of your completed pony. So send me some on Facebook or Instagram. And if you have an idea for my next custom pony, I would love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching little pandas. Until next time, bye. You can follow me online. To get the latest news and updates, like my Facebook page, facebook.com backslash Mandapanda Toy Collector, or follow me on Instagram at Mandapanda Toy Collector. Want to mail me something? Guess what? You can. Mail it to Mandapanda P.O. Box 2855 Humble, Texas 77347.